Good day. Hi, it's Glenn the Fat Aussie again. Uh, sound quality should be fairly good because I'm in a room without any soft furnishings like curtains or carpet. So this is one of the dormitories now um, having been set up. Um, students are starting to come forward and ask, uh, do, do you have accommodation? How much does it cost per month? Uh, we are planning to operate on a, a pay per bed basis. Uh, many of the students can't afford a bed or their books, which is why we've set up this project. Uh, but this is basically the rooms. Um, a, a bedroom has, a dormitory bedroom, this is far, not yet complete. We've got our first resident actually, a stray dog. She moved in a couple of nights ago and um, continues to stay here. And so for now, this is her home. Maybe we can ask the students to feed her and look after her and she can be like the project mascot. We don't have a name for her. Um, any ideas for this stray dog, let us know. Um, but the bunks are made from bamboo. They're locally sourced. Uh, but there is fans here, so the solar system is capable of uh, firing up the, the fans overnight. So keep everybody cool. Uh, looking out the window, I'll just spin around here. You can see that's Bunakan uh, Barangay Road just down there. And lots and lots of mango trees, mahogany trees. And if I take you out the front, we can see, obviously it's still a work in progress, but this is uh, the community college. So although it's taken a while, just across the road there, that gate and that um, unfinished structure out there is um, going to be classrooms. And the college is, is quite extensive. It runs for uh, a, a quite, a, quite a large acreage, I don't know, I imagine it's probably about 10 acres in land. There's 4,000 students and my guys operate from down here. So this will be the, the deck where the students can sit and do their homework. I'm going to try, there's no real internet coverage here, but I'm going to try and put up a large antenna and connect and get Wi-Fi and internet coverage. And hopefully this will be a place of productivity and um, education and the idea of self-empowerment, especially for females. Uh, this is, actually I didn't mention this, this is going to be a female dormitory only. Um, Okay, so a place of protection, a uh, place of independence, a place of empowerment. Uh, girls can do their own farming, they can sell their own produce, um, they don't need to necessarily rely on, on families or partners if, if that's their choice. And um, anyway, uh, if you can think of an idea of a name uh, for the stray dog, which uh, uh, frequents uh, who, who stays here in a, in a cardboard box for the last several nights that I've been visiting. Um, we, we'll adopt a dog and give it a home, give it a life. All right, take care. This is Glenn the Fat Aussie. Uh, please uh, post a thumbs up or like or subscribe. And we're going to continue to try and get this project going. Okay, it's a, if there is such thing as altruism, it's an altruistic project. It's for uh, the benefit of a community in an island in the Philippines that has very, very little. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.